Find the center of mass of a thin plate covering the region bounded below by the parabola y equals x squared and above by the line y equals x. If the plate's density at the point x, y is delta of x equals 12x. All right, well, not a hard region to imagine. I have the line y equals x and the parabola y equals x squared, and I just have this very, very small region here. Well, so we have a better picture of it for purposes of this video. I, I printed out a better and larger picture. And so this is the thin plate. And as I move from left to right across it, the density is changing. The density is always 12 times x. So as the x's increase, the density increases as well. So there's a much more dense part of the thin region here than down here. If this had a uniform density, I would expect the center of mass to be right here, right between the blue and the red, and right centered left to right between the two intersection points. Because there's a higher density on the right-hand side than the left, I'm going to expect the center of mass to be pulled towards that higher density area. And we're gonna see if that bears out in the calculations here. To find the center of mass of this region, I'll be using these three formulas. The moment about the x-axis, which is gonna help me find the y-coordinate. The moment about the y-axis, which is going to help me find the x-coordinate. And then finally, the total mass of the plate. And then finally, use these two formulas. So we have three integrals to set up and find, all relating to this situation. So let's go on and get started and calculate mx. So again, the moment about the x-axis is equal to this definite integral. And from our diagram of the region, we can see that we're starting at x equals 0 and then ending at x equals 1. In the original problem, we're told the density function is, is 12x. So when I set up this integral, I have 12x over 2 is 6x times f of x all squared. Well, f of x here is going to be my top function, which is just the line y equals x. So that's going to be x squared minus the bottom function squared. And again, looking here, the bottom function y equals x squared squared is x to the fourth. And so this integral is the one I need to solve to find the moment about the x-axis. Well, not too difficult of an integral to deal with. Well, let's see. Let me go on and integrate at this point. That's going to be an x to the fourth and out front. It looks like we're going to have a 3 over 2 minus, well, just x to the sixth, and evaluated from zero to one, get three halves, minus one, plug in a zero, and those go away, so we just get one half. The moment about the x-axis is one half, so I'm gonna uh, make a note of here on the first board that we've done that one, and we just got one half. So now we need to find the moment about the y-axis. To do that, we need to set up this definite integral. And again, we know we're integrating from 0 to 1. The density function is still just the function 12x times x would be a 12x squared. And here, for the moment, about the y-axis, we're just finding the difference in the two functions, the top function and a bottom function, and so that is just x minus x squared. We can pull that 12 out front, distribute the x squared through here. And we're ready to find an antiderivative.
And we're evaluating from zero to one. So let's see, I have 12 times one fourth minus one fifth. Oh, and when we work all of that out, we actually find out that we get three fifths. The moment about the y-axis is three fifths. Again, I'm gonna come back here to the original board where we were marking some things down and I found the moment about the y-axis. All that's left to do now is to find the total mass of the system so that we can find this center of mass. I think I can do that right here. So the total mass of the system just need to set up this definite integral. Okay, and again, I can imagine pulling out that 12. I'm gonna distribute that x through. Let's see, a one third x cubed minus a one fourth x to the fourth evaluated from zero to one. All right, let's see, that's gonna be 12 times one third minus one fourth. And when all of that is evaluated, we find out that the total mass of the system is one, making the center of mass very easy to calculate. M sub y, three fifths over one is three fifths. M sub x over m, one half over one is one half. We found our center of mass. And it is where we thought it would be. Pulled from right in between to where the higher density part of this thin region is. And there we have it, finding the center of mass of that thin planar region.